So I come help my wife because her muffler falls off out here at Lake Mead Beach. And I end up needing a damn tow. My damn fuel pump just died out. It's crazy, dude. That's how the cookie crumble today worked. It's supposed to work 15 hours. I ended up working 13 because I had to hurry up and leave. And now my damn car needs a tow. It's a sad day, man. came to help her and I end up being the one needing help. Uh, is she gonna scrape? Is she gonna scrape? Nah, she not low enough. Got her home. Yep, it's a Ford. Ford towing a Chevy. What else? Man, oh man. But well, look, it's a parking space open for me. Somebody was looking out. Amen. Amen. So guess what? It wasn't a fuel pump. Wanna know how I know? I think it was just too damn hot. I don't have my temperature gauge plugged up. So I think it was just too damn hot. This happened to me previously before. The car was running too hot. I put up about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. When it got me a slushy, came back and drove her home, no issues. I told the guy from AAA, I was like, man, I bet you as soon as I get her home, she's gonna start up and stay on. And that's exactly what happened. But it was good that I got her towed because it was leaking hella transmission fluid from the rear seal. So I just bought the rear seal. I'm about to replace that right now. I don't know how the hell that happened, but since I did this swap, I've been driving this car around for like four or five months. Literally no damn issues, no issues. My dimmer switch went out. That's not drivetrain related. Um, shit, that's the only. That's it. So, uh, yep, about to replace the uh, the rear uh, rear seal on the trans, and uh, that's it. Get out, y'all, man. Oh, I'm about to fix my steering column too. See this? Yeah, I'm about to fix that. All right, gotta stay hydrated, man. Got a gallon over there. Let me get that y'all though. Man, oh man, I wasn't gonna record this because my phone on fifteen percent, but look at that. No bearing in here. Oh, it does have a spring though, but the. Bearing 
bearing is completely gone. No steering bearing. Steering column bearing. Oh, there the bearing go right there. Here it is. Let me see real quick if I can get it. There it go. Here it goes. Sheesh. That's how it was when I was driving. Always annoying. Hey, what up, y'all? I'm changing the uh, rear main seal on the back of the Impala. Just letting y'all know you might get motion sickness in this video. So if you don't want that motion sickness y'all be talking about, cut the shit off now. So down there, fuck man. To take the dry shaft though, it's four bolts, 11. It's four of these right here. Use a uh, 11. And that's how you take the dry shaft. Always slide the dry shaft out comes off most time you can get these out but most time they're being a bitch this one was being a bitch so I had to take a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and most time you can push it right inside of here and pull across facing this way and it'll knock the gasket out but if it doesn't what you can also do is uh take this part here on the edge make sure you're not hitting the transfer case make sure you hit I mean whatever what the hell's the name is that thing the tail shaft make sure you're not hitting the tail shaft make sure you get in between the tail shaft then a gasket and then once you do that it'll start coming out but this one right here is not coming out so what you can do is grab some vice grips this never fails me once you get that you see how i have it's a little bit right there a little bit of, you don't need a little bit of lift You're gonna grab the tip of that lip. Close your uh, vice grips. And then now you have something you can push on. You see that? You can push on it. And when you push on it, it's gonna push that damn gasket out. Just like that. And then she comes out. It's pretty funny though, because I actually went a lot smoother than what I thought on video. You see that? So mine was leaking training fluid, as you can see. Just came back from AutoZone. Got my little fruity drink. Hey, y'all can laugh while y'all want to. This stuff right here is good. I like the, uh, I think it's called Blackberry. Or Black Lemonade, it's called Black something. Blackberry. Berry Lemonade, whatever. I ain't, I don't like Hennessy on the rocks and all the other stuff. I like fruity drinks. You know what I'm saying? Anywho's, so that last part was actually wrong as hell. When I started looking at it, that rubber piece wasn't supposed to be there. I was like, what the hell is this? This is the part right here. This is the real part. This is the actual part. I was running. I thought that rubber piece came off or something. Now that crap was on here. That's for like a truck. This is actually the part that you need. This one going a lot easier, a lot smoother. So, I'm going to go ahead and slide this on. Got that back up. And then up here. Got the sensor run. Yeah, see I'm tired. Got the rear transmission seal back in. So, about to put some uh, more training fluid in there for the training fluid that leaked out. And then she back on the road. A $3 part, man. Caught, uh, took about only four times to go back and forth to AutoZone. And uh, I went to AutoZone about four times. And I was in the house just kicking it too. But back to this Mike's Hard Lemonade, man.